Hey, there, buddy. I'm doing all right. All right. Oh, yeah. Showtime. Adrian Peterson has been called many things. And I'll tell you what, he's good. That kid is sick. The best running back in the National Football League. He is just magic. Peterson to the right side, and he sprints around the 10 to the 5. Touchdown, Adrian Peterson. But when it comes to his running back's coach, Eric Bieniemy, Peterson is the one doing the name calling. I guess I've never really had a nickname, but I'm sure in a the room they probably call me the tyrant. You know, <laughs> the little short mini devil or the fat ball here, the guy on the sidelines. We got a couple, we, we, you know, we throw in a bowling ball, uh, you know, roly poly, you know. It's just... Hey, why are we late? Why are we late? You had to wait to get taped. You had time. Our relationship is like a marriage. You know, some days we're gonna get along. You getting some rest at night, man? Some days we can't stand each other. I love you got a man up! Right? Right? Hey, I got you. Hit his but the bottom line is that we gotta make sure that we're always in constant communication. I'm gonna work with you, okay? But I need you to study. To outsiders, Peterson and B enemy may appear headed for a messy divorce, when in reality, tough love is just what this young running back needs. It can get you know, intense, but that's all part of it. You talking to me now? You can cool down? We're going to get the octagon, bro. We're going to put it in the middle of the damn stadium. Me and his ass going to go. We got the understanding is it's never personal. You know, we can be arguing, and the next second we can sitting there talking and smiling you know, about something totally different. I got to hear the whole entire play. No. Uh, I got to hear the whole play. Yeah. Hey, I got to on my neck. You just got scratched. Eric is not going to mince his words. He's extremely tough. There's nobody tougher except Adrian on himself. No, he didn't come. So how often does the enemy yell at Peterson? Probably 24-7. Uh, you know, 24-7. It ain't that bad, is it? Huh? It ain't that bad, is it? Nah, I, I, get, you know, I think I've gotten better. Yeah, he, I, I must say he, he has got better. Right, what are you calling the huddle? What are you calling the huddle? That's all, all right. I ask. What did he call in the huddle? All right, whatever. What did he call in the huddle? All right, I'll, I'm telling you what I was thinking, man. Okay? I don't care what you were thinking. What did it. he call it? All right. What did he call I don't know. I just want to make sure that they understand, hey, the little tyrant, you know, he can be a tyrant at times, but there's a message behind everything. Their courtship began when Peterson was a senior in high school and Biennemi was the running backs coach at UCLA. We developed a personal relationship when I was recruiting him. He tried his hardest to get me to come out to LA, came to the house, I had to sit down with my mom and my stepfather. I was talking with him from time to time over the phone. It was a good experience. Peterson ended up at Oklahoma, but when he entered the NFL draft in 2007, the enemy hoped he'd get a second chance to coach him. I took a, um, a visit out here. So I remember talking to EB, and uh, he was like, man, you know, I, I wish you the best, but if for some reason you slipped down to seven, we're going to do our best to get you. With the seventh pick, the Minnesota Vikings select Adrian Peterson, running back, Oklahoma. Like Peterson, the enemy, number 32, was a highly celebrated player coming out of college. While Peterson may be the better runner, his coach had a much better nickname, Eric Sleeping With the Enemy. Chris Berman made that name a little popular. You know, my wife, she loves it, I guess. So <laughs> we'll, we'll stick with that one. <laughs> Peterson's nickname is All Day, and if he continues at his current pace, he'll be mentioned with the all-time greats. I haven't seen shifty moves like that, hips move like that since Walter Payton. I've never seen Bo Jackson play in person, and I've seen him on tape, and I would compare him to a Bo Jackson. And off to Bo, off the left side, gets to the outside, first down, he shoots to the 20, the an impressive feat to compare him to but I've seen this kid since high school and I just enjoy watching the things that he does he's a much better football player than what I ever was <laughs> as rocky as their relationship seems it's working through his first 36 games Peterson averaged 5.2 yards per carry among Hall of Fame running backs only Jim Brown finished with a higher average Peterson 
96 yards for Adrian Peterson, the greatest rushing performance in the history of the National Football League. So why does such a rare talent need such a tough coach? Adrian has a tremendous gift. We all know that he's blessed with a tremendous burst, had this tremendous speed. All you gotta do is give this kid a crease and he's gone. But the bottom line, we need to harness that at times and make sure that we're applying the little things the correct way. Last year, um, you know, leading the league in rushing on 1760, but it was so much that I left out there. We left over maybe about three or 400 yards out there. Darts back to the right across the 20, heads back out to the left. He dropped the ball and it's picked they turned us over again. Hold on to the ball. It ain't no issue if we hold on to it. You know, it was just little things that he harped on all the time that I really wasn't taking advantage of. Yeah, we rushed for 1,760. But what can we get better at? I just need to make sure that he's doing everything the right way. That's going to help us to give us an opportunity of winning the NFC North. The Minnesota Vikings are division champions! giving ourselves a chance to make it to the playoffs and down the line, hopefully, to make it to Miami. The enemy knows all about Super Bowls in Miami. Raised in L.A., bringing us back home. Trust me. As a young player, we were blessed and fortunate to play in the Super Bowl. Obviously, we came up short. We played against a great San Francisco team. A superb performance by the San Francisco 49ers. They are the world champions. But when you're young, you think that, hey, you know what? You'll have this opportunity again. You know, and I played five more seasons after that, never got back. So the thing that I always tell my players here is like, hey, fellas, you know, let's not take anything for granted. We just got to make sure that we let too many opportunities slip by, okay? Because you never know when that opportunity is going to present itself to you again. While the honeymoon is officially over, these two are just getting started. I think the sky's the limit. Yeah, I realized at a young age that, you know, God had, God blessed me with a, you know, a tremendous talent. And, you know, I've always looked forward just to make sure I, I maximize that. I try to be the best, not only the best at my position, but the best to play the game. And Adrian Peterson just refused to go down. One, one of the best runs I've seen out of this kid in, in the short career that he's had. Just amazing. I'll just make sure I just continue to um, take care of the little things and, you know, give me the chance to accomplish that one day. If he doesn't, you know who will be there to remind him.